Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to cook isarbara. So I've blended three packets of shrimp. So for this recipe, I suggest you use um, small, um, small to medium shrimp isa. Make sure when you blend it, you um, blend it with the skin or shell on. I've got some fresh coriander and fresh green chilies. I've got three medium onions here. I've already grated it. Also, I've got some fresh ginger paste. I've got some turmeric powder here, some uh, coriander powder, some chili powder, some curry powder, and um, some chili. You should have some onion and um, ginger paste. I'm also going to add a sauce in it. So I'm just going to wait for the onion to turn um, slightly light brown. So as you can see, my um, onion has um, turned slightly light brown, so I'm just going to add this white in. Um, so I'm just going to let the onion to cook for about a minute or so before adding hot boiling water. So my spices have been cooking for over a minute now, so I'm just going to add some water in. So I'm just going to let this cook for about five, six minutes. So it's been cooking for about six minutes, um, so now I'm just going to add more water. After adding the hot boiling water, I'm just going to let this cook for about two three minutes before adding the um, isa paste in it. So with this isa paste, um, you can add some fresh coriander, some onion, some turmeric powder, coriander powder, chilli powder and curry powder. And um, just mix it and um, make it into a small round. But it's optional. But I usually don't add any of these, I just do it on its own. And I'm just going to grab some of the paste like this. Dip some of this into the sauce. Like this. You can use a spoon if you want to. It's gonna be I think it might be more easy if you just use a spoon. So I'm just going to let this cook for about 20-25 minutes. So it's been cooking for about 20 minutes now. So now I'm just going to add the fresh coriander and fresh green chilies. So I'm just going to let this cook for another 2 minutes or so. So it's done now. 